the clinical presentation for these cases can um, be really vague. Um, a lot of times it's just a little bit of lethargy, uh, maybe a little bit of poor for performance, you know, and, and it's often subtle. I have a lot of, you know, the trainers come in and they say, well, you know, he just doesn't have quite the, the oomph, but the dog is still bouncing off the wall, you know, but he's not quite at that level of activity um, that they're used to. And, and that's important to pay attention to because that animal is going to look great in the room um, potentially, but, but the, the owners and the people that work with that dog are going to pick up on those more subtle um, problems. May or may not have a fever. Um, they don't always, um, and they oftentimes wax and wane with that. Um, the rest of their clinical presentation is, is going to be pretty dependent on the migratory path. You know, are we looking at a dog that, um, you know, has a pyothorax and is presenting with respiratory signs, or is this an animal with a large sub-Q abscess? You know, it's going to um, be a little bit different um, in presentation based on where it is. Um, another part of the history a lot of times is that they have been treated with antibiotics, and once they went on, and that improved their situation, and then once they went off the antibiotics, everything came back. And that's real classic for there being a foreign body um, present. Um, migrating plant material really should be um, high on the list um, for any hunting dog that's having any kind of problems. 